Welcome to the Outdoor Lab. We're celebrating our 50th anniversary. Look, 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 looking. And guess what? I got absolutely nothing. Oh, man. You guys are probably going to be better. Let me try one more time. I mean, I came here as a kid back in the 80s, so I did the same thing the kids are doing today. So, you know, there's a lot of magic here. So I did the same thing. I got to camp out, go on the hikes that they're doing, and it's been going on for 50 years. That's kind of, a, you know, that's a good run. So hopefully there's another 50 years of a good run coming up. So, like, now we're doing the survival thing where um, the counselors are going to go around and teach you, like, what to do, like, how to survive in the wild, like, how to purify water, um, make shelters and make a fire and so we started a fire um, and so we got into groups and then now we roasted marshmallows and boiled eggs if it smokes like that you have to like stop it that yeah means that there's not enough oxygen then you need to blow, blow it, it or you can we move it around to uh, matches to start it the kids that come out here are coming from arlington but they don't necessarily have a great deal of experience in the forest being with nature but what we try to do is give them experiences that they might not get in Arlington during the, the school year or even in Arlington just exploring around Arlington on their own so we have a pond they can go boating they can go fishing we have the stream for doing stream studies catching critters in the water we take them on a hike it's about a mile and a half hike. So just a lot of different things that kids usually don't do and they seem to really take to it. They really have a good time with it and I think they learn a lot from it as well. After we're walking along and all of a sudden kids spotted a box turtle that I had walked right by and, and that kind of discovery is just really fun for these kids to come out here and, and see things that they don't get to see every day. You know I don't feel that kids get outside enough so to get them out here and to have this opportunity for Arlington County students is just awesome. It's, it's an eastern rat snake, or a, I used to call them black rat snakes. They just changed their names again. I need to ask. Yeah. How do snakes poop? Because uh, all there's... snakes pooping? Well, all animals poop, right? I know. We've had some great people work in here, so let's hear some voices from the past. In this particular area right here is where we do some stargazing in the evening. The building in the background here is an old farmhouse that will eventually have to be removed. The outdoor laboratory, actually it's called the Phoebe Hall Nippling Outdoor Laboratory, is really owned by the Arlington Outdoor Education Association. Who are they? Who is the Outdoor Education Association? Actually, it formed about uh, 1967 uh, through a group of concerned citizens who were interested in outdoor education. Were they Arlington citizens? Arlington citizens. They, they saw the, the tremendous development occurring in Arlington and realized that uh, there would never be room for a large outdoor facility for school children living within Arlington County and uh, began a search for some property within commuting distance of Arlington that perhaps could be used for an outdoor laboratory. And this search culminated in 1968 uh, with a site which is now located in Fauquier County. Um, efforts were made to raise the money to pay for the site through a lot of effort on the part of these citizens and school children selling cheese, having car washes, you name it. $90,000 was raised and the mortgage was paid off in 1978. I work with the teachers to make sure that they do have a curriculum ready for the youngsters. Teachers come out for overnight programs, they come out for just a day visit, they hike the trails, we have uh, two buildings there, a large uh, indoor classroom when the weather is bad, that we can have 50 or 60 youngsters in there. Then we have a dining room that will seat approximately 64 uh, people. This is where the youngsters are fed. We have an adequate kitchen and cooking utensils and supplies. That's one of the problems with worms. They cook, cook down to nothing, you know. You gotta really start with a lot. Is it good? 
Oh, 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 I it's really good. It's a you lot can't of, do that uh, Stick my finger. nutrients in there, you know. Oh, oh. Nice. But where do you see this uh, going? What uh, what kinds of uh, ideas do you have for us down the road? Well, I, I think I think the outdoor lab is is unique in the Ooh. sense that that it's uh, completely uh, oriented to one school system. So yeah. so what you can do with the curriculum is so much as compared to so many places that are private and you have to pay money to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, one of the most exciting things for me working at the lab is, um, well, I really like being out outdoors and I also really like um, working with kids and being able to combine the two is great. And one day I, I had a volunteer, uh, by the way, if anyone's interested, you can volunteer and help <laughs> us out. But uh, I had a volunteer working with a group of kids and she came running down from the stream, uh, not from the, from the spring, and mm -hmm. said, Mr. Leinbach, uh, what, what is this? There's, there's something up in the spring, and we don't know what it is. There's lots of them, and we've mm -hmm. never seen it before. And, and uh, when I went up there, we found 50 of these yellow-spotted salamanders. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe 30, 30 to 50 of these yellow-spotted salamanders swimming around. And we had a group of third graders that day, and mm -hmm. of course I was much more excited than the third graders. <laughs> no, but they, they thought it was really neat. Our whole goal really is to, besides you know, looking at the standards of learning and educating them, is to give them experiences that they've never had before. Do you have any animals with you? I that happen we might to hold? have an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull it out. <laughs> I brought Emily along. Which you won't find in a school. No, Emily is a, is a corn snake. Mm -hmm. um, and we can use Emily as a tool to talk about classification for students. Uh, is it a vertebrate or an invertebrate? What group of vertebrates is it in? <laughs> so when we're at the outdoor lab, we try to find animals. And this is and Emily? This is Emily, yeah. How Emily's a resident in our, in our building of animals, and she won't ever be released into the wild. She's always been in captivity. Ah. So occasionally we'll find a, a black rat snake or a, a box turtle, and we'll bring it in for a little while. And that way the kids sort of have ownership of, you know, they get to name it and they have ownership of, of that animal. And then we'll release it after a week or so. I think the first time I came to the outdoor lab was in third grade. And from third grade on, I guess every other year or so, I had an opportunity to go, to come up here. And um, eventually I came here as a senior to do senior experience, which is sort of like a, an internship. And then um, I was also here for my Eagle Scout project. So now I'm at the summer camp working as a senior staff. So it all comes full circle, which is really, really great. Is it too high? I mean, can you guys get in it? All right, swing it down. You asked me where I see the outdoor lab in 50 years, and I don't know exactly, but I really pray that it's here, because I, I think that um, with technology moving at a rapid pace, it's not even recognizable to what I remember as a kid. Uh, I think there's will always be a need for kids to have a place to go learn in the woods, um, to, to get out of the city, to just learn on their hands and knees down in the dirt, <laughs> to experience nature for what it is. And I think, it, I think there will always be a need for people to connect with their world because they're part of it, uh, whether, they, whether they realize it or not. And this is a really great place to do that. So you remember what's in here? Sassafras root. Sassafras root. And remember what's in here? I think at the outdoor lab, we don't so much preach at them, but we have a perfect place and the kids become a captive audience for learning to appreciate nature. And because every kid is at a different place in their understanding of where they fit into nature, this gives us a chance to expose them and hopefully pique their interest about what's cool in nature. And then I believe that from that, they can build an, on that for an, um, an environmental ethic that will go into their adult life. Okay, so you're supposed to be in here cleaning up, and I'm cleaning up too, okay? So let's go sweep the floor. 